Welcome back to North Tesla. Are supercharging fees taking a hit on your wallet? Well, it's definitely better than the gas pump, but still, what gives? All right, Dan here from North Tesla. If you're in Canada and you've recently used a supercharger in the last month or so, you may have gone on some sticker shock. My US friends are probably used to this by now. So what happened to cheap supercharging? Well, let me explain why the jump in prices, how much you can expect to pay, and is there a relief in sight? Before I get into it though, please take a moment and help out the channel by hitting that subscribe button. Back in November 2021, Tesla changed the supercharger fee structure in the US. Now they've applied that here in Canada as well, which is why you're suddenly paying more. This applies to the most common pricing structure, which is per minute billing. With that billing, there are two tiers below 60 kilowatts and above 60 kilowatts. Now this is a charging speed, not how many kilowatts you're getting. Now there are four tiers. The cheapest is below 60 kilowatts, between 60 and 100 kilowatts for tier two. Tier three is between 100 and 180 kilowatts. And finally, the most expensive is anything above 180 kilowatts. The explanation from Tesla for this change was to take into account the different charging speeds between urban V2 and the new V3 superchargers. Now, each supercharger has their own fees. They kind of differ a bit. So it's hard to say exactly how much you'll be paying. But before in Canada, the highest tier was around 40 to 50 cents, while now it's anywhere from $1.30 to $2 in some places. So that's almost double, even triple. So keep in mind though, that high tier is really high for 180 kilowatts. So you're not charging for the entire time of that speed. Because the nature of the charging curb is that you start off really fast and then it tapers off as your battery fills. So you won't be paying that full price for the whole charge. But still, it's making quite a dent. Uh, some owners are reporting charging sessions of over $20, which is sometimes like the cost of gas. And before that, it used to be $4 for an average fill-up, between $4 and $6. Elon has always said that they don't intend to make a huge profit off supercharging. So this structure kind of plays into the idea where they don't want people charging for more than they need to. Now, there is some hope. I mentioned before the most common pricing is per the minute billing. The other method is per kilowatt billing, where you pay for exactly the amount of electricity that goes into your car. You may be asking yourself, well, that makes sense. Why isn't that what we use? Well, there is some debate as to which one is cheaper for the user, uh, but I think per kilowatt billing is more equitable as you're paying for exactly what you use. It's not like when you go to the gas pump, you pay for the exact amount of fuel that goes into your car, not how long you're pumping for. And it also makes it more equitable for all EVs as Tesla models, because my SR Plus charges slower than a long range. The reason we don't have per kilowatt billing, well, regulations and red tape. In most US states, only utility providers can sell electricity. By charging per minute, Tesla isn't selling electricity directly, but rather a service. So while only a few states have per kilowatt billing, and if you're one of those states, you still have tier based pricing, but it's based on time of day, like rush hour and stuff like that. In Canada, apparently it's because we don't have an accurate measurement system. So it seems my hydro company knows exactly how much hydro I use. The good news though, is there is a push from Tesla and others to get more kilowatt billing in more states, as well as up here in Canada. Elon recently tweeted that they're still looking into the Canadian matter when they were asked about high prices. Here we have Measurement Canada. Yes, that's a thing, which is the government body in charge of this. So back in December, 2020, yes, that feels like a millennial ago, they set aside $56 million and 18 months to develop a per kilowatt standard. So 18 months from November 20 or November 2020 should bring us around May, but I'm not sure, sure which is more accurate, an Elon timeline or a government one. Either way, I probably think it'll be late. I guess time will tell. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a video. All right, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next week. Welcome back to North Tesla. The super sure. So what happened to cheap supercharging? Use and every toss. Now there's some hope. I mentioned before the one, two, three, four, one, two, three. You guys pay for what you use. And that also puts into equitable for the, which is 180 kilowatts, is anywhere from 100 
dollar thirty. Why can't I talk? Just fucking.